This is breaking news. Get Katy Perry's replacement. American Idol needs to end few reality shows have produced as many massive stars as American Idol. Created by Simon Robert Fuller and broadcasting on apps, this series has amazed viewers for over two decades. Each season introduces a whole new batch of talented singers trying to win the grand prize and hopefully launch their careers into stardom. It has evolved many times over the years with rule changes and shifting judges introducing new styles of this classic format to varying results. It's undeniable that after about its 10th season, American Idol began dropping in popularity. The show failed to elicit the fanfare and excitement of its first few seasons, plus no contestant in this newer era ever reached the heights of fame that many of its earlier ones did. Recent years have seen the show be reinvigorated, though, and it's all due to one person, Katy Perry. This pop star joined Luke Bryan and Lionel Richie on the judges' panel, and while each man is an exceptional judge, the show is missing the quirky sense of fun this artist brings to every project. It was her fiery energy and witty humor that brought a sense of excitement back to this franchise, which is why so many fans were sad to hear that this latest season would be her last. She is leaving the panel, and people are wondering who will replace her. Though a much better plan would be for her leaving to signal the end of this legendary program. The worst thing that can happen for a series is overstaying its welcome, and with Katy Perry disrupting what has become a very lackluster time for the franchise, it may be time for American Idol to leave with her and end on a rare high note. It's undeniable that so many singing competition shows would never have been possible without American Idol. When this reality series premiered in 2002, it revolutionized how viewers watched TV. Reality competition shows had existed before, but never had they been such a showcase of talent, with skillful editing and charming contestants making audiences really care about these singers and their fights to follow their dreams. It's a program that created some of the biggest names in music, with winners like Kelly Clarkson and even non-winners like Jennifer Hudson using the series to launch award-winning careers that still haven't stopped to this day. It had a high viewership, amazing stars, and one of the best judging panels out there. Unfortunately, that level of fame wasn't meant to last. There are many theories over what led to American Idol's steady decline in popularity. Some people cite the original judges Paula Abdul, Simon Cowell, and Randy Jackson, the trio who gave this series so much of its uniquely enjoyable appeal. Leaving the franchise marked the end of what made it so great. Others think that American Idol's inspiring nature was what eventually led to its downfall, with ratings competitors like The Voice and America's Got Talent imitating the original show dynamics and drawing some of its long-lasting audience away. No matter what combination of circumstances did it, most of the last decade has seen the series experience many bouts of low viewership and a distinct lack of excitement from people online. Its premise of bringing together large groups of singers and having them compete has grown stale, especially since it's been so many years since any of the winners they spend an entire season hyping up have become a household name. American Idol was on a downward spiral, being critiqued for its repetitive nature and lack of cultural relevance, which is right when Katy Perry showed up. The pop star known for hits like Firework and I Kissed a Girl joined American Idol's judging panel in the show's 16th season, completing the trio of Carl Urban and Lionel Richie and bringing a much-needed dose of her signature energy into the show. The past few seasons have seen an uptick in conversations around the show, and most of that is due to Perry. Of course, the singers competing are as talented as ever, but it was her wacky antics that had most people tuning in to watch and sharing clips of each episode after it was done airing. Whether she was giving audiences an in-depth lesson on the term wig or falling out of her chair dressed as a little mermaid, her wackiness, paired with an immense level of vocal excellence and industry knowledge, made her exactly what the series needed to regain some of its lost popularity. She's the reason that it got back some of that televised.